Joining us now for an exclusive interview is Brandon Reidenauer, CEO of Angie Home Services. Your stock, Brandon, has, has really been a beneficiary of this home improvement trend. Is it still keeping up at the pace that you've seen in recent months? Yeah, you know, right now, uh, home is the most important place on earth, really, for all of us. And uh, we saw that developing in the second half of the year for obvious reasons. And we begin to see uh, really a torrid pace of demand for home services. And that's continued uh, up until today. Um, some of that is obviously driven by uh, the time we're all spending in our homes. And, and, and additionally, we think a lot of it is driven by some structural changes that have happened, including the ability to work remotely and uh, renewed interest in, in, in really being a homeowner, the aspiration of home ownership. And we think some of these trends continue even as, uh, as, even as the pandemic wanes uh, near term, hopefully. What are some of the more popular services right now? Because you know, the economy that we've seen as far as the recovery, taking housing aside, has been really a boom in goods. And you've seen that with furniture and, and people decorating their homes, but, but not as much with services. So tell us a little bit more about what you're seeing. You know, it makes sense with everybody spending more time in their home that a lot of uh, consumer spend shifted out of dining and leisure and travel and into uh, making your home a more comfortable place. And, and some of that means uh, buying uh, actual physical products. And some of it means, uh, you know, getting uh, getting projects done around the home that uh, that make it more comfortable and uh, and and more pleasurable to spend time in. Uh, we've really seen growth across the board, as you might expect. Uh, a preponderance of that growth has really come in outdoor projects. People um, getting their backyards spruced up, putting decks in uh, during the summer, of course, swimming pools, um, everything you can imagine to make. Uh, make spending as much time as we're all spending at home uh, a lot more comfortable and a lot more pleasurable. But it's really been across the board and um, we've seen we've seen uh, a ton of demand in really just about every category. But Brandon, one of the unique um, attributes of this pandemic in particular has just been this this reticence to be around people, the social distancing and wearing of masks. I know a lot of people who want to do things to their home, but they don't necessarily want to have um, a crew of strangers in their home when they're trying to protect their family and keep their bubble relatively small. And I'm wondering if you think that the population generally, your user base generally, is becoming more comfortable with that, with people wearing masks and working in different rooms, and if they're figuring out how to troubleshoot that. Yeah, it's a great question. You know, we have seen certain services like uh, cleaning services that have taken a big hit and really haven't recovered meaningfully. And I think in, 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 in some of those categories like cleaning, people are just choosing to do it themselves rather than accept the additional exposure. But for most home services, uh, you know, you need, you need specialized expertise. And people have had to make a, a, you know, as we've all had to shelter in place and spend a lot more time at home, people have had to make a decision uh, around whether they want the, the improvement to their, their quality of life that, that comes with that specialized expertise or whether they want to stay uh, completely protected. And what we found is people have found a way to get more comfortable with getting this work done. You know, it's not a huge amount of people you're typically having in your home. And, and generally speaking, there are ways that you can do it uh, to keep everybody uh, reasonably safe and, and distance from each other. So we've we've seen that we've seen that the, the desire for home improvement really went out over over some of the fear that we saw uh, maybe in the first half of the year. We talk a lot about small and independent businesses, Brandon, every day going out of business and finding it tough. What have you seen in terms of your service providers? Are, are they coming to Angie? Is that a source of growth for you? You know, there's 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 uh, two uh, sort of uh, different forces affecting these small businesses. On the one hand, there's definitely been a boom in demand from from homeowners and consumers, and that's helped the industry. You know, this particular industry really really. Uh, do better than perhaps a lot of the other local uh, businesses that we know are suffering so badly. At the same time, uh, there are immense challenges with with labor, with uh, the cost of labor, with the ability to, to even find labor, find people that are uh, able and willing to work. Uh, the supply chains have been extremely disrupted. The cost of, uh, for example, lumber has, uh, has, I think, set records and has been extraordinarily high. And so I think if you talk to most of these businesses, they've stayed busy. They're very happy to have been able to uh, persevere through this, uh, but they're not, you know, they're not exactly um, uh, necessarily thriving because of uh, the effects of the pandemic. So uh, certainly the industry has fared better than, than, than many, but uh, we'll look forward to, uh, as, as, as we all will, getting past, uh, getting past the pandemic. Yeah, and of course, people making New Year's resolutions for their homes uh, in just the next few days as well. We'll see what that brings. Brandon Ridenauer, our appreciation for you uh, this afternoon as well. Thanks for joining us.
Thanks for having me. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.